Hey guys, I just want to show y'all some quick concrete evidence um, that proves astrology does have some validity. <clears throat> These are the birth charts of my favorite band, uh, the Mars Volta slash Anti Mask, right now. Um, Omar Rodriguez Lopez and Cedric Bixler Zavala. As you can see, Omar is a Virgo, Sun and Virgo. Cedric is a Scorpio, Sun and Scorpio. And um, as you can also see, they both have Moon and Cancer. It's not only Moon and Cancer, but it's Moon and Cancer 2, which is the week of the unconventional. That's why a lot of people kind of say that, oh, well, they just kind of try too hard and try to be weird on purpose. They don't try to be weird on purpose. They just want to do something new um, and not the same and be unconventional and against the grain, you know? So, but the interesting about Omar being Moon and Cancer is that so is my other favorite type of music, which is, um, uh, DJ Screw. He was born July 20th, 1971. Also, Moon in Cancer, too, in the very center, uh, of Cancer. So, he, a lot of people think he's weird, and in fact, Omar even said he doesn't understand why people think you always have to be on some kind of substance or drug to enjoy the music, because it's so crazy. People have said the same thing about DJ Screw. They said, oh, well, you gotta be leaned out or high or drunk to like that music. And that's just not true. I mean, it is it is 100% true. Some people enjoy it more that way, but you don't need it that way to enjoy it. But anyway, the fact that they both have Moon in Cancer 2, the Week of the Unconventional, and both styles of music, the Mars Volta and Screwed and Chop music, people think you need drugs to listen to it. It's just kind of interesting that they have that uh, placement in uh, astrologically and as you saw I, uh, I uh, showed Tupac's birth chart he was born uh, June 16th 1971 same um, year as DJ Screw so they have a lot of the same archetypes but Pac was a year I mean a month prior so he's a Gemini a communicator whereas DJ Screw was a cancer more into the music aspect but as you could see um, Tupac has Specifically, he has Neptune in Scorpio, Uranus, Libra, Pluto in Virgo, Mercury in Gemini, Saturn in Taurus. Now, what is Tupac's alias? What is he also known as? Machiavelli. Because he was in prison, he was reading this guy, Niccolo Machiavelli. Um, he read his book, The Prince, and The Art of War, and all that stuff. Look at this guy's birth chart back in the, you know, Renaissance days. He hung out with uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Machiavelli has... Neptune in Scorpio, Uranus Libra, Pluto in Virgo, Mercury in Gemini, and Saturn in Taurus, once again. And they're one sign apart, Taurus, Gemini. So, Tupac and Machiavelli's birth charts are almost at least half identical. And this is, you know, one out of a thousand chance, at least a thousand. Because these planets are going pretty slow, and some are going fast all the time, and some are going medium. I mean, so it's all just a... It's a mathematical equation, y'all. And astrology is like the math of personality, really. Um, oh, that's Dean Burgeon. But anyway, I was I mainly wanted to make a video of this because I, I noticed this the other day. My wife watches um, Dance Moms. This crazy lady. Abby Lee Miller, September 21st, 1966. So she's a Virgo Libra cusp, year of the horse. Well, if anyone who watches the show... Who was, who was her favorite dancer and who is known to be the, the most famous dancer? Maddie. Maddie Ziegler. And she is September 30th, 2002. Libra, year of the horse. Once again, y'all. And it, it, it even goes deeper um, with some people like um, Nietzsche. Oh, I already did that. Cancer too. All right. Uh, Nietzsche. He's um, 15th of October, 1844, which is Libra, year of the dragon. So is another revolutionary, um, even though he didn't believe in Jesus, quote-unquote. I don't know if John Lennon's Illuminati. They killed him, but still, he didn't believe the right thing if that was what he believed. O Libra dragon, October 9th, 1940, year of the dragon. <clears throat> but here's where it gets interesting. Nietzsche's only crush in the entire world was Lou Salome. And this female was... Um, Aquarius, uh, year of the rooster, 1861, February 12th. And so what do you think Yoko Ono was, guys? <clears throat> February 18, 1933, Aquarius, year of the rooster. 
Okay, I mean, a lot of these people have the physical characteristics of their animals. I'm serious about this. Um, but anyway, those are just a few example, a few examples of astrology being real. Um, you can you can check out my channel. Um, just type Astro Pop Culture, and you'll see all these little montage videos I used to do in like 2008 and stuff and it's just all the evidence with some music playing in the background I've already said this stuff before uh, but not the Mars Volta and DJ Screw stuff but anyway I hope y'all you know have a firm you know non-bias towards astrology if you're Christian and, and if you're an atheist you need to look into you know everything because there is meaning in this reality and it's not just what we give it and if you want to believe nature has patterns well astrology is nature and it's also predestination. We're conformed to those 12 archetypes, just like the 12 disciples of Jesus. And Jesus as the Son is in the center of the 12, creating 13. But anyway, so that's astrology. It gets deep and, you know, just don't shun everything because the TV says it's bunk. Or your friends. Later. Or your church. <laughs> Think for yourself.